Thank you. Thank you. Uh, as I said earlier, again, uh, we have always been in favor of dialogue from the very, very beginning. We were waiting for many years, from, for seven years, started with the 2015 Minsk package of measures adopted and endorsed by the Security Council resolution, but nothing happened. Nothing happened. We still are ready for dialogue. We, um, it even brought us to the announcement of our red lines in December last year. Uh, since that, again, nothing happens. Um, Russia is ready for this dialogue even today, based on the, uh, our agreements and commitments we are part of. We are very strictly abiding them and uh, wish to continue the same. But this dialogue should be, again, mutually respectful, equal, and taking into account interests of all states. We don't expect that next rounds of talks would bring any such kind of results of matter of principles, because we clearly say, as we discussed today as well, that means package agreements because of uh, not uh, Kiev authorities not intending, not willing to implement it for seven years already, are not going to, to come to it. Um, the initiatives from uh, France, from Germany are welcome. And we will keep talking, we will keep discussing the current situation. Uh, along with that, um, Along with that, uh, we would expect our Western partners to be more concrete on uh, the Russian red lines, on non-expansion of NATO, on security guarantees, on demilitarization of Ukraine, to refuse from rhetoric, which you know uh, uh, comes beyond the borders. Listen not to, to only to the Western media, but even Western politicians. So, and, uh, um, and refuse from a unilaterally motivated uh, unilateral policy. Respect international law and its uh, commitments. And uh, I don't believe that uh, Europe should feel betrayed. But, uh, you know, it's vice versa. For many years, Russia is, uh, this is a permanent feeling on Russia, when the commitments and obligations have, have not respected from their side. Russia feels betrayed. So this is with regard to your first question. The second, with regard to the, uh, the situation, uh, you know, uh, uh, in the, around Ukraine and how it is influencing uh, India, Russian-Indian cooperation. Um, the Russian-Indian cooperation has got its uh, very strong and solid foundations which is manifested in the declaration of a special and privileged strategic partnership. It is based on our mutual trust, mutual respect. We take very seriously interests and concerns of each other. We don't threaten each other with unilateral sanctions and don't interfere in domestic affairs. Our cooperation doesn't represent any threat to anyone. And uh, at the same time, we keep moving shoulder to shoulder in our big task to, uh, to establish just and equal multipolarity based on universally, uh, universally globally recognized principles, international role, central role of the United Nations. Our partnership has become a very strong factor of international peace and stability. We have got the robust and multi-dimensional bilateral agenda. And we would count that we will continue our partnership in the same way. We welcome the independent and balanced position of India, which it, it has taken recently in the United Nations 
Security Council twice already, which was expressed uh, openly by uh, the Indian external affairs minister and other officials. And uh, it, is, uh, uh, it should not have been the situation at all. Russia was not in favor of that from the very beginning, that countries should choose its partners. We should continue our you know, foreign policy uh, based on our independence, based on our uh, uh, internal understanding of the situation, and uh, based on the principles of the uh, United Nations Charter and international law. Mm -hmm. Can I ask my question, please? तो रूस की तरफ से आधिकारिक बयान सामने आ रहा है कि भारत और रूस एक दूसरे का ख्याल रखते हैं और हम चाहते हैं कि शांति के साथ मसला हल किया जाए लेकिन भारत और रूस एक दूसरे को धमकी नहीं देते और आप ये याद रखिए कि इस पूरे विवाद के बीच यही हफ्ता रहा कि जब भारत की तरफ से पहला आधिकारिक बयान जारी किया गया और भारत ने इस मसले पर सभी पक्षों से शांति की अपील की थी और यूक्रेन के प्रभावित क्षेत्रों से एयर इंडिया की विशेष विमानों के जरिए वहां फंसे हुए भारतीयों को निकालने की कोशिश की बात की गई थी भारत के दरअसल दोनों देशों से गहरे संबंध हैं रूस और भारत का रूस भारत का एक अहम रक्षा साझेदार है तो यूक्रेन में भारत से बड़ी संख्या में बच्चे मेडिकल की पढ़ाई के लिए जाते हैं और यही बात जो रूसी प्रतिनिधि हैं वो भी बात कर रहे हैं कि भारत और रूस एक दूसरे को धमकाते नहीं है बल्कि एक दूसरे का ख्याल रखते हैं उन्होंने कहा कि हमने सात साल लंबा इंतजार किया अभी भी हम बातचीत करने को बिल्कुल तैयार है दरअसल अमेरिका जो है वो यूक्रेन में अपना प्रभाव बढ़ाता जा रहा है और रशिया के बिना यूरोपीय स्थिरता संभव नहीं है यह आपने इन्हें सुना इन्होंने कहा कि नेटो यूक्रेन को हथियार सप्लाई कर रहा है और भारत के साथ जो रक्षा सहयोग है वो जारी रहेगा भारत और रूस एक दूसरे को धमकाते नहीं हैं, एक दूसरे का ख्याल रखते हैं 